Um, <laughs> we're back at Stockton on Tees at the Sun Inn, which is uh, basically the River Tees is about uh, kind of a drunken fall in that way. We've got the Endeavour down that way uh, with a few of us have come from Yorkshire. Mark and Mike have come from Lancashire. And we've got some fabulous rookies. We've got Romaine, we've got Moira, and we've got Alwyn. They don't have names like Jane and Chelsea. Chris, you know. Yeah. Chris. I, I was talking about the good, uh, the, the, we've got some nice new rookies. We've also got Chris as well, who's come from Stockton on Tees. And uh, so it, it's, a, it's a baptism of fire. Uh, if you've watched any of these before um, on YouTube, uh, there's over 100 films on now. Uh, seriously, you know, get some friends and go out, get a life. <laughs> but it, uh, in the meantime, uh, let me explain the rules to start with. I know it sucks, but no. whatever. Uh, questions are all on the buzzers. If you want to have a test of your buzzers, fellas, let's have a listen. Okay. <laughs> Steve won the last there, uh, so he's good to go. Uh, okay, yeah. Whoever buzzes first gets the opportunity to answer the question. If they answer correctly, it's worth two points. If they've interrupted uh, the question and they're wrong, they will lose a point. Once the question has been completed, there's no penalty, so it can become a free for all. It's handicapped. Uh, if you have a look at, at the screen, you will see the handicaps. Uh, obviously, we've got Clive Dunning. I, I think I'm looking at him over there, but on the screen, he'll be somewhere like down there. Uh, but he's given everybody a 70 point stamp. I, I don't know how he did. He must have got access to the questions in advance of everybody else. I actually edited the film. I've written the questions. Uh, I edited the film. And he still beats me to the buzzer. Okay, people, good luck. Uh, eyes down. Fingers on the buzzers. Take no prisoners. Not to be confused with Woolwich Arsenal. On April the 17th, 1911. Which team beat Juventus 6-1 to win the second Thomas Lipton Trophy, a.k.a. Trent, go! Michael, I was looking at you all along. West Auckland. West Auckland. If you ever oh, get a chance nice to see a captain's tale, it's one of the best TV programmes ever made. It's a nice answer. So, uh, with a UNESCO World Heritage Site at its centre, what is the capital and the largest city in the province of West Flanders in Belgium? Steve R. <laughs> what else are we going to be? It's Bruce. Steve R, you get two points. Keep your asking points going up. Have you noticed that Clive Dunning hasn't scored a point yet? <laughs> 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 uh, next one is this. In Greek mythology, which merman traditionally shown blowing a conch shell Gives his name to Neptune's larger. Clive! Right on. Neptune's largest moon. Triton is correct. More kind of astronomy with something else tagged on. Good luck, everybody. How many whole Earth diameters could be embraced by Jupiter's diameter? And how many hours, plus 28 minutes, with Daniel Jensen's 100 mile track running record. So what I'm asking is, how many whole hours does it take somebody to run 100 miles? Have a guess, it's free. Come on somebody. Train. Uh, Steve, uh, right, Mike. What? Eight hours. No, but no penalty. Michael. Uh, nine. No yes. penalty. Steve R. Uh, Eleven. 11 is the correct answer. 11 hours and 28 minutes. Described by Billboard as. This is for us, me and the ladies. Described by Billboard as the greatest song duet of all time. What was played during the ice skating scene in Happy Gilmore when Happy and Virginia skate on ice to Diana Ross and Lionel Richie? <laughs> Mike! The Lion's Love. Yeah, uh, you just squeeze in there. I don't want the entire lyric sheet, just the title will be fine. Mike, you get two I've points. I've so many times, but I should have been on the title the song. Uh, not quite the greatest sports film ever, but it's close. Uh, who was the fourth Secretary General of the United Nations from now? Uh -huh. Tony. Kurt Waldheim. 
Come on, let's get the hand in. Hey, what nickname was subsequently given, was subsequently given to Mozart's Carol Concerto at number 26 in D major, K537, after it was used at such an occasion? Hank! Michael. I do much. No, we're lucky. Good guess. Anybody else watch that? Hank! Funeral. No? What? Chris? I was going to say funeral myself. <laughs> say something else then. I can't. Get the ball again. Uh, Steve R. Coronation match. Ta da! <laughs> yes, good. And thank you as well, Steve. I do appreciate that. Who oh, was that, Steve R again? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Six. We are not on for this particular round. The scores, is, you, you see, uh, the, the score for the game on the left hand side uh, and basically for the tournament on the right hand side with the handicaps, without the handicaps is the next column. Next one is this. Until Sachin Tendulkar broke his record in 2010, which Australian batsman... <laughs> Steve R. Matt Taylor. Minus one, Steve R. You were doing so well up to that point. Michael. Uh, border. No, minus, minus one. Uh, Clyde. Uh, Bondi. No. Oh! <laughs> have we finished the question? No, I haven't. Sure, I've no idea finishing it. Mark. Matthew Hayden. No. All these men are so impetuous, aren't they? Uh, Chris. Steve Ball. That's the one. One, which Australian batsman and captain have well, led also the most test well, tests, really. yeah, yeah. Well, well, let's have a look at what the question was. Uh, for the most capped yeah. test cricket yeah. almost capped. Oh, capped. Right, yeah. okay. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Chris, uh, welcome to Lightspeed Quiz. <laughs> Matt Preston is still waiting for his third collect down, so you know. <laughs> Next one. Based on. 27 wagons full of cotton, no deceit. A one act play by Tennessee Williams, which 1956 film featured Carol Baker in a skimpy nightdress? Tony. Good. No, Good. Uh, in a nightdress of the same name. So, uh, what was that, sorry? Baby, 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 Baby Doll. Baby Doll. Baby Doll. Which canal runs from, from Fort William to Inverness? Oh, Tony. Caledonian. Six points. What credit card was advertised by Rowan and Tom Fritz? Barclay card. There, you got a bit between your teeth now. Barclay card by Rowan Atkinson. Who was conceived when? Pronunciation excuse, please. Mahamaya. Dreamed of a white elephant. <coughs> Michael? Buddha? Yeah. Question 13. Lucky for some. What has a standard capacity of 4.7 gigabytes, a standard weight of 16 grams, and is a product of co development by Philips, Sony, Toshiba, and Panasonic? First, <coughs> Mike? Floppy disk. No. Tony. CD. No. And then ah. Steve, CDs and minuses. Oh, minuses. Yeah. DVD. DVD is no, correct, Steve. Yes, yeah, so DVD. From an Italian word meaning detached, how should a note with a dot of it? Ah. Tony. Uh, staccato. Is precisely what I was looking for. Nothing else would have been good enough, I'm afraid. So, uh, tell me. See where you are. Name that Essex town and the portion of bacon mentioned in the Canterbury Tales. Ah! Clive. You moved to you. you knew oh. that was right. The moment you were on it, didn't you? Well done. Dumbo Flitch. That's a 15 to 1 kind of question. Go with that, Indian. What crown colony was renamed? The Kingdom of Lesotho upon independence from the ah! Clive. Basuto land. Basuto land is another great answer. 
Five year on five. Hey, that's my rap for the day. <laughs> what family of destructive insects are called plant lice or green flies, black flies? Mm -hmm. 17, uh, sorry, uh, Steve R. Aphids. Aphids is correct, Anthony. Right. You're an accountant, how do you know that kind of shit? <laughs> that's an amazing answer. Good. Clive. According to the book of Daniel, into what does King ne ne book had never? Uh, Tell me. Are you friends? Oh, what a fantastic oh. answer! In the nursery rhyme, Ding Dong Bell, who pulled. Uh, uh, Tell me. Johnny Stout. Yeah, no. Steve R. Suki. Oh, okay. No, Clive. Tommy Green. No. No! Moira. Tommy Stout put it You've got two points, girl! Do you know, nothing gives me greater pleasure than giving Moira a point and taking them off your shows. <laughs> awesome. I didn't think that's a good thing. Tommy Green, yeah. <laughs> and describe the two colours of the Austrian flag. Chris. No. Red and white. Two points. That was a friendly question. It was, yeah. Well done. Who played Marilyn Gates on Crossroads, Joan Greengross in the Red Room, <laughs> Steve C? Sue Nichols. Yeah. Sue Nichols is a great answer. I'm sure so many people called Steve though. It's very confusing. Awesome answer. Tom Wolfe, Shirley MacLaine and Arthur Ashe were all born in which US city? The setting for Patricia Cornwall's heroine, Case Guard Pet of Adventures, and the state capital of Old Dominion. Go! Clive. Uh, yeah, you worked it out of it. Oh, 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 That's why Clive's good. That's why he's good. Two points for you, Clive, mate. It's quite unfortunate than already. Uh, no, we don't know that. Mine was sticking out. Not too many to go. 23. 404 years after his death, the remains of which painter were buried near the Tuscan coastal town of Porto Ecole in a memorial park that opened in July 2014? He is credited with the formative influence on Baroque painting and he said to have fled Rome in 1606. After <laughs> Michael Caravaggio. Caravaggio is correct, and there's a murder involved there somewhere along the line. Good, huh? <laughs> Five points to you. The Blessed Virgin Mary, Adalbert, Stanislav, a patron saint of which European country? <laughs> Steve R. No, minus one. One of them might have been, not all of them. Uh, Clive. Poland. Poland is correct. What can mean a switch of direction, a small nail, or an equestrian's wall? Ah, no! Steve C. Tack. Is correct. Yeah. Steve has got more answers correct in this game than he got in the entirety of the last three bit. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. There he is, where we are. I'm being glib and rude. Pelagophobia, P L P E L A D O P H. Pelagophobia is a fear of what? Ah. Chris. Feet. No. It's baldness. Next one. I should go that one. <laughs> <laughs> Named after the RAF base on which it was built. What was the original name of the Mays Prison in County Down? <coughs> Tony. Lokesh. Tony, you're at the well. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. Lokesh. With which spot would one associate in B Park, Brant Snedeker, <coughs> Tony? Oh, golf. He's great. What was patented, 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 patented? Patented. What was patented by Melvin R. Bissell? Five. Can't be cleaner. Yeah, oh, it's easy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the intentions exactly the same, so. 
reluctantly, <laughs> five gets two points. It's all neck and neck for this particular round with Tony and Clive of 10-10 with one question to go. Let's see who wins this particular tilt. Mediman the second in 19... Sorry. Nobody wants to press? <laughs> Somebody does now. Tony? Wouldn't grab national. Boom! So we have a great shot. You are so bad in front. Thank you very much. Um, we'll be carrying on with hopefully uh, Romaine. Have you got some questions for us? Well, let's just have a five minutes and a breather.